I, I really admire what it is you do. Well, I'm going to take you on a little journey here, but let me kind of set the stage and let me also tell you how I hope that after our time together here, you'll be able to walk out of those doors and, and maybe be a little bit more fulfilled, have your batteries charged, as, as it were. I'm going to tell you about some things that have happened in my life and, and an incredible power that I discovered that I didn't even know that I was using. And it was working time after time, and I thought life was just supposed to be that way. And it wasn't until I, I did some studying and really went into the past of a lot of the philosophers and everything else that I realized that there was really something to this power. And that power is the power of enthusiasm. Okay. And see, that's another thing about enthusiasm. You can't hold back. you got to do it. And think about every single one of you and where you have been in your lives and the things that you have done. Think about when you were courting your wives and how you knew that she was the one and you were not going to give up until she said yes. And, and, and to this day, you remember all that. That's enthusiasm. That's the spirit within. He's one of those speakers that at, when he's done, you want to just start clapping and say, encore, encore, come back out and you know, talk some more because uh, you know, he's very enjoyable to listen to. I got a call from a producer that I'd worked with in New York, and he said, we have gone all across the country, and we cannot find someone who can do this voice. This is a movie that's coming out, very important. We're doing a, a video game. Activision is putting it all together, and so we need to put together a, a television commercial for it. The, the star can't do it, but we need somebody who can do his voice. And they had gone to Las Vegas, all the top impersonators and everything else. I didn't do his voice. But I didn't tell him that. He said, can you do the voice of Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. And I said, yeah, give me about 48 hours. So I hung up the phone, went to YouTube, got the DVDs. I'm watching every episode, everything else. And I noticed in the trailer of the movie that as Barry B. Benson, which what does he play? He plays a part of a B. He is very enthusiastic. He's, he's shouting a lot. And Jerry Seinfeld shouting is different than Jerry Seinfeld talking. So I had to find some place or something that Jerry said that would give me what I call the key. When you're trying to get an impersonation, you find the key. And sometimes you get it from another impersonator. You say, oh, that's how you do it. Like I could never, when, when President Reagan was president, I could never do a, well, well, well. And then I heard Rich Little say, well, now there you go again. <laughs> now, now, now cut that out. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm, I'm, I'm serious now. Don't do that. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but then it's not. I don't even know who you are, and I don't care. <laughs> See, you find the key, and then you can make them say anything. So anyway, I remember that there was a, there was a there was a, a routine that Jerry did about your dog and about how your dog really doesn't know ownership. He doesn't know that you're the owner. All the dog knows is that you're the guy that brings him the food. And whenever he sees you, he goes, oh, there's that guy, there's that guy. He gets real excited. And so one of the lines in that they wanted me to do was, eat my pollen. And so I had to do Jerry Seinfeld saying, eat my pollen, really excited, and make it sound like Jerry. So I would work my way into it. I got the key from that one line, which is, it's that guy. It's that guy. That's the guy. Eat my pollen! <laughs> so what you're about to see is the actual finished commercial. Woo! <laughs> Black and yellow, baby. Black and yellow. I'm going to barrel roll into these bugs and light them up with my pollinator. Hey, I'm a bee in a dog fight. Now watch me trade some paint. Eat my pollen. Ha ha ha. What? You thought this game was going to be easy? Yikes! Share the road, buddy. Go! Mama's little boy almost got it. Hold the ketchup, but heavy on the honey! Are you ready to play B-movie game? Are you flying up? Ask your parents' permission to download the demo. Rated E for everyone.